Mrs. Hatton. Uh, I'm wondering what you think of the philosophy, philosophy inherent in the little uh, apparent campaign piece entitled uh, New Leadership 1982 and whether or not you authorized or approved of it. It seems to be in uh, promulgation of your campaign. It does not have my campaign's name on it. It arrived in my mailbox today, uh, along with probably everybody else's. I had not seen it. I do not go for that kind of thing. I would have not ever authorized it. Uh, to be very honest with you, um, I think it's a very sad thing to put someone through any kind of pain. I work in funeral service. And it's got to be a very painful thing for Mary Margaret to feel unappreciated and to feel beat up on. I would have never authorized that. That is not the kind of person I am. I have talked about issues and issues only, and that's all I am going to discuss. I would have not have done that. You know, I think a lot of people got that point. I lived in this community when somebody was accused of being a communist. That's what it does. It accuses me of being communist. It accuses my family, and it includes my grandfather, my father, all of them that served in the military. That's what it does. It's deplorable. It's deplorable. Now, my opponent will tell you she had nothing to do with it. And she probably didn't. But her friends did. Her friends did. Now, you know that I've represented you for a long time. You have never, ever received a hit piece from me because I have always told my friends. And this comes from the Senate Republican Caucus leadership, which is their PAC. Now, they formed this little group. Ten of you could get together and form this little group and send these sorts of things out. It's deplorable. But worse than that, worse than that, if you go to the website that's on that, it leads you to some pornography. Now, that is going too far. My daughter is here tonight because they are outraged, as I am. But I want to tell you, I represent you, the people. You're going to have people up here tell you I'm 100% for this or 100% for that. I'm going to tell you I'm only 100% for you. I have always been for you. There's no question about it. But I will tell you, I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud of my five brothers that served. I'm proud of my father that served. I'm proud of my grandfather that signed the Declaration of Independence. And no way, no way will we ever associate it with the Soviet Union.